In today's video, I'm going to be talking about articulation on the violin and how you can achieve a good articulation. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Happy New Year. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications. I do a lot of violin tips, violin vlogs, and how-to tutorials. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Today's video is going to be all about articulation. And articulation is somewhat of a, a nuanced thing. So I'm going to share my thoughts on articulation and how you can achieve good articulation. Articulation uh, in this video is going to be more so of a right hand scenario. You could also articulate both the left and the right hand, although that's a different topic for a different video. So um, articulation, here we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about different types of articulation and how you can achieve good articulation. So let's say we're going to do um, like a nice collet stroke on the A string. And you might have noticed that on my right hand when I'm holding the bow, I'm really gripping the string and I'm letting the bow do most of the work. And most importantly, I'm trying to bite the string as much as I need to as, instead of like pressing or squeezing or putting enough weight on it because then you're going to get a very a very aggressive sound so most importantly you have to rely on your bow to do a lot of the work and that'll take some time once you get used to if you're a beginner watching this video and you're trying to get good articulation it may take some time but if you're like an intermediate or advanced player just trying to get reconnected with articulation then this is the video for you as you may notice that the the fingers and the joints happen to do most of the work. So let's say I'm just going to do a simple A major scale. So I'm always gripping the string, I'm setting the bow on the string, and then I'm pulling. And if you may notice that it's, a, it's kind of a U, like a U shape stroke, and I'm not doing left and right like a detaché. And when I want like an accented note on each string, there is a little bit of an impulse on the right hand, but it's this very tiny little jolt of, of electricity that happens in the, the fingers and the joints on the right hand. So it's this, this really nuanced thing that of course takes time to practice and the best way to practice this kind of articulation um, when it comes to like accenting notes scales you know if you're if you're not new to the channel then you hear me talk about the importance of scales and arpeggios and etudes and how you can apply different techniques uh, whether it's bow strokes left hand articulation whatever the case may be and really practicing these with scales you can apply this on any part of the bow and on any string, of course. Let's say I've been, you know, I was doing it mostly on the on the frog. Now let's see if we can try doing it from the middle bow. And when I grip the string, I'm using a little bit of my index finger, my first finger right over here. And this is actually a very cool trick that um, a bow restorer and bow maker has given me. So shout out to Mr. Medina for this, uh, for this tip. See if you can pull the bow and push the bow using your ring finger. And what that allows you to do is that you will grip the string and you won't have to use or rely on the index finger because if you rely on the index finger, what will happen is that your sound will be aggressive and you'll happen to pronate a little bit too much for your liking. By pulling by with the ring finger, you are allowing your hand to kind of recalibrate so that way you can really pull and push the string. And it also helps me like in the, in the back of my mind to really release other fingers so that way this entire joint of my ring finger really helps do most of the job. This applies for every part of the bow, whether it's the frog, middle, or point. Um, achieving good articulation is a right hand issue. So relying on your bow, relying on the ring finger of your third of your right hand, excuse me, to really pull and push the bow will give you not only a cleaner and nicer sound, but it will also recalibrate the hand 
for you to achieve the accents or whatever articulation that the music requires you to play. There you have it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you haven't done so already, again, it means the world to me. If you subscribe, hit the like button and hit the bell notifications. Again, when videos come out on the channel, you get notified. And as well, it helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. It would really mean the world to me. And happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.